Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for Digital Dojos. And if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a robe. But now that that's set aside, let's talk about what's on my iPhone. Um, I haven't done this video or a video like this in a long, long time. I thought it'd be a cool time to kind of just update you on everything I'm using nowadays. Though, to be honest, my apps tend to stay kind of standard. Um, but if you have any recommendations or alternatives, whether it's a free or paid app to any of the apps that I'm using, please suggest it down below because I'm always looking for you know better solutions. Um, but that being said, this is an iPhone 7 Plus. For those of you wondering, the phone that I'm using, this is my daily driver. Um, I have a Samsung S7, but this is what I carry around on, on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that, let's jump into it here. On the homepage, standard stuff, it, it, it's everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously. Like, I try to keep everything that I use on the homepage. Everything else is just like an organized clutter. Um, standard apps at the top, calendar, photos, maps, camera. And my philosophy with, like, how I organize my icons, either by color and, and, you know, like, folders, but also, like, the corners for me are really, like, important apps. So, like, calendar in the top left to see the date, camera in the top right because I use this as, like, a login device, so I use it a lot for camera, Sonos in the bottom left, and Spotify in the bottom right. Outside of that, you have standard apps, weather, app store, which you can see I clearly have not updated these apps, which I should have done before this video. Um, notes, my first folder here, um, which are all labeled by emojis, as you can tell, um, is all food stuff. So like Yelp for like food reviews and, and seeing those are, you know, restaurants around me, Caviar, Uber Eats, and Postmates are all food delivery services. Living in San Francisco, that's pretty much like an essential, um, it's, essential to have some sort of food delivery app next to that social uh the social tab is probably the most used tab on here because i don't have a lot of like games or any games on my iphone um i don't know what it is i, I just don't really like play games on my iphone anymore but more of my time is spent doing things like instagram or or twitter um let's see here uh yeah so the twitter timeline which is taking forever to load of course when i want to do this video um, Snapchat, which I, I tend to use a lot nowadays, um, so if you want to add me there, feel free to, though I, I do warn you that uh, the stories can get a little ignorant. Skype is like the app that I hate to use but have to, um, that's just because some of my clients still use Skype. Same thing with Messenger for friends and family, but it's one of the main reasons I only have a Facebook account nowadays. Tumblr, though it isn't as popular as it used to be, I still use it for my personal blog. So I, I still prefer to like check it out now and again, and I follow a couple people on there. Discord is a VoIP client for specifically more for gaming, and, and I use it for a lot with my friends for gaming and all that. Um, so yeah, that's just the app to do it on mobile. Um, Viber is an app I use for communicating and texting and calling my family back overseas. Next to that folder, probably one of the most important ones for me, is the uh, money folder. You know, Apple Wallet, Apple Pay, uh, my bank accounts, and Venmo, um, PayPal, uh, and then the last three there, Truebill. Truebill is a service that allows you to track your monthly subscription. So if you've ever wondered like how much are you spending within a month for like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube, Red or whatever you're paying for, you can add it all there and then keep track of it. Um, Robinhood is a stock trading app. So you can buy and sell stocks through Robinhood completely free. Um, really, really great application if you're just getting started in stocks or you just, you know, you trade on somewhat of a consistent basis or whatever it may be. Check it out. Credit Karma, if you haven't seen the commercials, you can get a free credit score check with Credit Karma. And no, they did not pay me to say that. Next to that is a smart <laughs> smart home folder. All things smart home, because everything here in my room is driven by Amazon Alexa. Um, so, okay, good. I didn't want to trigger there. there. Um, Casa allows me to trigger my um, smart plugs. The Amazon EXA app allows me to, you know, configure all things with that. The Ring app is for my security camera in the hallway. The Hue lights, which I have plenty of, allow me to configure my lights. As you can see here, I can go ahead and change like this light, for example, that's staring me in the face here. Um, so yeah, that allows me to you know configure all the lights. On Switch, it's another lighting application. The Harmony Remote app, which I have for my Harmony Remote, which I don't use as much as I should um, because I spent like 300 bucks on that thing. But yeah, that just allows you to configure the settings for the Logitech Harmony remote. Apple TV remote app just allows you to con uh, configure your Apple TV or use your Apple TV with your iPhone. Uh, the transportation apps, pretty standard. Lyft and Uber are like the essentials for me here in San Francisco anyway. Caltrain and BART for public transportation. Uh, calculator, which is probably the most used app on my phone because I suck at math and, and calculations. Prime now, uh, maybe a close second. I haven't been using it as much recently, though I do have stuff in the cart. But this is like an Amazon-owned app. If you have Prime in certain areas, it's only available in certain areas, you can basically order stuff within like a four-hour window or even for me in, in San Francisco, a two-hour window, which is like crazy. 
um, but also very, very dangerous. Overcast is a podcast app I use, and you can see all the apps or podcasts I'm currently listening to right here. Next to that, Audible, another listening app for audiobooks specifically. It's another service owned by uh, Amazon. And I have a ton of books here because I've just been a huge, huge Audible fan. I'm just like the type of person who, for me, it's harder to sit down and read a book um, than it is for me just to listen to a book while I'm like doing something. Or if I just want to sit down and just listen to a book, I, I, I receive information that much better through you know an Audible sense. I'm an auditory learner, I guess, so to say. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and check out Audible. Um, Reddit is another application I just recently installed. This is like the default Reddit app to keep up to date with all the newest things on the uh, Reddit boards. Um, some stuff, some great stuff and some not so great stuff. Um, LastPass is my like master password app. Basically, all my passwords get synced to there. It's super, super secure. Just a really, really um, essential app for me. YouTube, the default YouTube app to watch videos. Of course, Wonderlist is like my go-to to-do list application for all things like productivity, just because it allows you to do collaborative lists. So I have a couple lists here shared with people that I work with, and it makes things that much easier because we can like, you know, we can assign tasks, we can check off tasks, and so on and so forth. Sonos, um, I love Sonos. I love the speakers. I have multiple. I have the surround system here in my room. I have a speaker set up in my living room. Um, but the application could definitely be worked on, but basically this is where you control your Sonos. You can stream music from here through multiple apps that it supports, so on and so forth. Phone, messages, self-explanatory, Spotify, my go-to music streaming service of choice. Bottom left on the dock here, Chrome is my go-to browser just because I use it across my laptops and desktops. Outlook is my go-to email client, actually. And I'm a huge fan. I think it's one of the apps Microsoft did a really great job with on the iOS end, which sounds you know funny enough. To say but yeah it's actually my go-to email application slack i use this a lot for like dealing with i have uh startups and, and different teams that i work with in, in the city so i'm always in like their slack channels and basically it's a communication app it's like a chat room application um, on steroids everybody here uses <laughs> slack essentially um utilities this is the second page here this is just a kind of unorganized clutter that i don't really know where to put or apps i just recently installed um utilities standard stuff. Um, I think the only things that aren't standard here are like the Bose Connect for my headphones. Clock, which is um, KLOK, which allows me to see the standard times here. You can see just in my swipe down menu. Um, and that's because I need to keep track of like East Coast time, um, time back home in Japan and, and time in the UK for people that I work with. Um, extras are, yeah, extras. There's nothing in there that I really need or use. Um, and I can actually delete some of these stuff. Um, the Amazon app, that is something that I tend to use a lot of, but that's only when I need to order something. Um, Airbnb, when I'm traveling uh, and, and you know want to stay at an Airbnb uh, house or whatever, maybe. Um, the Goat app is is basically a shoe application. I, I've gone into sneakers a lot lately, so basically you can buy like rare sneakers and new sneakers here um, from people, and it's like a trusted source. The next two applications, I mean, they are what they are, right? Um uh, Bumble and Tinder. I, I would love to say that I could have just easily hid these away before I did the video, but no, uh, it, it's something that I think being immersed in, in the scene in the States and also just being in a highly tech populated area, um, you know, I decided to try out. Uh, we'll report back when I've had success, but as of right now, they're just apps sitting on my home screen. Um, kayak for travel. Um, SoundCloud, I typically use that for like music for like mixtapes and stuff like that that's just not on like streaming services. Funnel, I don't actually know what that is. I want to say it's a news app. Yeah, so this is like a news application that I just recently decided to try out. It's like, I think it takes a lot of the key news out there and condenses it into audio form. Um, Kami, this is the only game that I have on this phone and I don't think I've even played it that much. But basically it's just a kind of like a Zen, like paper folding game if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, you basically like, if I can, if the app decides to open it, it's like when I want to do one of these videos, everything wants to run crazy slow. Basically, you have to like try and convert like all these colors to one color, essentially, in a certain number of tabs, I think, how to move. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, United app, um, I know there's been a lot of crazy stuff in the news lately, but it's what I typically fly with. Giphy for GIFs. Um, if when I need to send those for the appropriate times. Um, the Adidas confirmed app. Again, it's Adidas app for sneakers. Um, Groupon for like group deals or like if you're looking to do something and you want to get a really great deal out of it, they always have like ridiculous stuff going on there. 
Google Maps, um, standard, you know, navigation app. Charades, that's like the other game that I have on here. And it's like a party game when you're like with a group of people. I love that game. It's like the one app I always keep. Uh, Rinse is the, it's an app and company here in SF that they do like delivery for your like laundry and your dry cleaning and stuff like that. Um, Google Voice, um, to have a Google Voice number for like people to call me. That's not my personal number. Asana is a to-do list app that I use for specifically just one of my clients who I go to a lot and they run everything through Asana. So I have the app, uh, Viso or VSCO. I never really knew how to pronounce that. It's like a photo editing app that I use for all my Instagram pictures here, as you can see. Um, Google Drive, another essential for me, just because I, I have a lot of my client work within Google Drive, like the videos I do for them. So that just allows me to easily access that. And last but not least, the Eero application. Um, my roommates and I have a couple, I think we have two Eros in, in, in the apartment. So that just allows us to, if you don't know what those are, they're like multi-mesh um, routers, essentially. So you can like use two Wi-Fi devices to kind of spread out the signal throughout the house. And that just allows you to configure it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what's on my iPhone in 2017. Today is Monday, May 29th. I had to double check that there. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I know it's a long one, but if you're ever interested in these things and kind of just want to see the things I use on a day-to-day -day basis, um, recommend your own stuff or, or leave comments down below and feedback. You know, I'm always open to that. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you all in the next video.